Hello and welcome to another beer review with me, Ruku. Today's beer review is we're going back to the Polish. Back to the Polish. Back to reality. Um, the Polish then of, well, do great beers as we know. I've never, well, I've never, that's a lie. I've had like one bad beer from Poland. Um, this then looks really, really good. This is by Browar or Browar Amber. So Browar, and this is the Grand, I love that word, Grand, Imperial Porter. So this is a lovely 8%. And uh, it even tells you there, product of Polski, product of Poland. Um, already it tells me in Polish what it looks like, but uh, I can't read Polish. But uh, the colour is Kazani, 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 which probably means dark or black or something. Um, temperature, you should be keeping this at between 12 and 14 degrees, which I have done, to be fair. I've done my best to keep it that way. Uh, doesn't tell me anything in English because it's all in Polish, but I'm looking forward to this and I can't wait to crack this open. That's the what I'm going to do. Because I love my Polish beer. Right. Whoa. Nice bit of smoke. I don't... Nah. Didn't catch it. There is a little bit. If I do it's my bad color. No. No, you can't see it. Shame. There was a little bit of smoke. And I was trying to do that so you could highlight the black and the smoke which are up against my bad color. But it didn't. It let me down. There's the cap. Just bearing the name Grand um, Brovar Ambar Special Promarza. Whatever that means. Right, here we go. 8% Polish loveliness, with a bit of luck. And already this is pouring very smoothly, and I know that this body could be a little bit watery, but smooth. I mean, I'm not going to judge, if you do. I'll pour a bit of a head on that. Okay, so I've poured a bit of a head. I know that's humongous at the moment, but I'm letting it settle because this glass doesn't have an etching, so I want to get a head on it so that basically I can taste it and also show you what it looks like. So then, a very dark... What is this? A porter, did I say this was? A porter? I am confused already. Yep, yeah, it's an imperial porter, so a porter. Very dark porter. Um... A sandy, wouldn't you say that's a sandy caramel looking head with massive bubbles in it that are just hollow. I mean, look at those four there that are hollow. Big and tightly compact, so tightly compact and big bubbles there. Um, the way that I've poured this has been deliberate, so you're going to get about two and a half, maybe three fingers there, depending on how chubby your hands are. Um, it looks okay, it looks okay. I'm a little bit concerned that this may be a little bit watery, but we'll see. Let's crack on with the aroma. Not a lot coming in. Just um, roasted cocoa nib. So chocolatey roasted, but not much else to be fair. I don't know. Right, anyway. Crack on. Unfucking believable. Wow. That. Wow. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for. This is finally the holy grail I've been waiting for some time now. A real, real decent beer. Look, packs a flavour punch. My, my God, this is incredibly nice. Straight away, sweet. Very sweet for a porter. You get the uh, roastedness off the bat. You get a hint of chocolate off the bat. And a slight bit of burn as well. This really is coming at me on all cylinders. The head is light, fluffy, velvety. 
just makes way for that room of that, oh, that delicious roasted chocolate burnt flavour. That is incredible. Is there a little bit of alcohol? Very smidge, if I'm being honest. A very, very tiny little bit. But it's not enough to bother me. It really isn't. Again, the Polish are renowned for this, and this is another dangerous beer, ladies and gentlemen. This is insanely drinkable. It's in a, a very light body. Uh, very silky, very soft, very gentle. Packs a punch of flavour. And it's just going down too fucking easy. I mean, too easy. Do you know what I really like about this? It's that sweetness. That sweetness just boosts it up. So not only do you have the roasted from a good porter, but you get a little something extra. Sweetness. My God, this is lovely stuff. Um, after taste, I have got nothing but a nice sweet hop. Sweet hop reminds me of a burnt caramel. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to rate this 10 out of 10. All day long for me. 10 out of 10, no problem. Um, yeah, I, I would recommend this to literally anyone. Anyone. Unless you don't have a sweet tooth, in which case you might not like this. <coughs> I burp. It's not a good beer. If you've got a sweet tooth, you might not like it, but if you're into your porters, you're into your stouts, this is a very well made example of a porter. I was a bit worried at first. I thought. Yeah, it looks a bit watery on the pour, but actually, the body speaks for itself. The flavour speaks for themselves. Absolute, yeah. It's just a dream to drink, and I, I wish I had more of this now. I should have ordered myself a few more bottles, but I didn't. Because I'm stupid, so. Yeah, but anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos. And if you really enjoyed this review, why don't you just give me a thumbs up. And also, while you're there... Hang around and just give that little bell icon a little tickle under there, under the little dangly bit. Go, hey, dicka 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 dicka, and it will turn those notifications on. So next time I do a beer review, you ain't gonna miss out. Till next time.